Bees flying around. There's one checking out the camera. It's gonna land on my face, watch. I kind of migrated my stuff back over to that camp just in case this gets too bad. I just wish I had a, a mare mattress. I'm still tired, I'm really cranky and sore. I've just been sitting here for like 30 minutes going, ow, 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 ow. I really don't feel too much better than I did yesterday. So, I'm looking forward to a long day of relaxation, hopefully with too, without too many fucking bees. Um, I've got my caffeine pills, got three Advils, got my water full of electrolytes. I'm about to drink as much as I can. And oh, it's it's rough, but man, look at this, you guys. Look at this view. That is majestic, isn't it? Oh no, yeah, I can still barely walk on my my right butt cheek. I'm just pissed off. Hell, I might even be here for two days. Look at that. And there's a creek right over there that's coming out. I don't know if you can see it, but that provides this amazing tranquility at night where you've got this lake and you've got a creek to here. Very soothing. Um, oh, I got one right. Well, the bees are here to help me make my coffee. They're, they're definitely helping me out here. They're just inquisitive. This time I do this, I'm just gonna get those little tiny micro-sized uh, sandwich bags and just make a little bit of instant coffee. And I like cream and sugar in mine, so pre-mix a little bit of cream and sugar in it and just have those single serving bags. I really liked having more stuff in bags. Today I'm not even planning on opening up the, the food canister at all, maybe for a little bit of that uh, peanut butter and stuff, but All right, here's my view right now. I hope this is a good first-person camera. Got uh, some terrible coffee with a bug in it. But here's my spot to get away from the bees. They don't come down here as much. I'm gonna go walk down there in a little bit and see what that's like. Might be kind of soft. Actually, we can kind of graze down there right now. Look at the fish jumping. Can you see that lake just full of ripples? I bet you could just fish here all day. So, let's take a walk over here and see what it's like. A lot of great firewood in here too. One thing I'd like to bring next time is some type of lightweight uh, saw, just because there is so much great uh, wood, but some of it's maybe just a little bit too big. Uh, that looks pretty murky. Yeah, I can already tell it right now it's super moist. Really clear, that'd be fun to snorkel in. Well, we're gonna try sharpening a knife now. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but it's gotten pretty Pretty dull. I have a little tiny Leatherman knife that I might use to gut the fish this time. That was kind of actually difficult. I don't know if this is quite the right knife for it. Oh, I don't think I'm doing this right, but let's see. Huh? I don't know. There's these awesome chipmunks everywhere. Hello, chipmunk man. There he goes. All right, well, I just got down to the fishing spot 
and I actually took a lot of the stuff from my backpack. I was hoping to just fill up one of these bags and take that with me, but it, I ended up taking so much stuff, so I might as well just take the whole bag. Um, planning on, you know, re rinsing out some clothes, setting up a clothesline as well. Uh, I got my solar charger here. This thing for 33 bucks, I love it, look at this. It's charging the heck out of my, uh, the heck? What the hell? Uh, battery, and this is like 11,000 mAh batteries. See what our other spot looks like. Gonna kind of hold the camera off to the left a little bit so you can see those fish jumping. Couldn't believe I caught fish last night, it just blew my mind. Yeah, I got some better potential shady spots up here. Hard to say. Right there. Perfect, and it's kind of over. Yeah, this will do. Won't have shade all day, but it's right in front of our spot, so it's kind of hard not. Whoa, shit! Not. Whoa, shit! Not. Whoa, shit! Yeah, it looks like this is the ticket. And so when I start cooking the fish, I'll cook them over here in that pan that we cooked on last night. Uh, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna try out this flint and steel. I haven't used it before, so we're gonna see if we can start this fire with this. And this is an ember lit titanium stove. Really uh, a sweet, awesome stove that weighs uh, ounces and you just you can't burn through it. And the whole concept is, is you basically fill it full of um, little tiny sticks, you know, of course these to start we're gonna got dried grass and stuff to get it going and it's just basically like a micro stove and then you, after a while you start feeding in uh, more sticks into it and if you have even bigger sticks you can actually get even bigger um, logs. You can get something three times the circumference of this and then you just stick it in the front and I've seen people that have like logs, like, well, sticks sticking out to here and they just slowly feed them in. So I think that'll be enough to cook all my fish. I'm not sure. If it isn't, I got a lot of stuff around me. I don't know if you guys can hear that snapping over there, but I can't tell if that's... Oh my goodness! I thought that was a rattlesnake! You can't see it, but that machine gun like snapping is a grasshopper. Wow, like I said, there's the size of matchbox cars out here. They make some noise. Yeah, I literally thought it was a rattlesnake over there. Huh, still no fish though. Maybe I should have fished this morning when they were jumping. I definitely don't see them uh, jumping as much as they were, so definitely some truth to the uh, fish in the morning thing. No worries, this is uh. This is fucking paradise out here, so I'm, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm just gonna keep fishing here. Ow. Fucking horsefly. Hey, just a little update. Wanted to show you guys the uh, temperature right now is uh, pretty warm. 105 ish. And I only got one fish. I was fishing with this fly that was yellow. 
and I had maybe a bite hour went by it's about 123 so this is just my lunch I'm catching now I need to get started earlier tomorrow god I'm thinking about spending another day here I just like it so much it's nice not to have to worry about the pack on my back and stuff so I've got the pole sitting there it's um, anchored down in case anything grabs it he's sitting there he got his head crushed so I don't like to pull the um, the needle or the hook out of their mouth while they're still alive. I'd rather just get it over with. I'd rather have my head crushed before you pull the needle out. So trying to add a couple more, maybe four more to that, and then I'll eat. But yeah, it's uh, they were definitely hopping way more this morning. I'm a chump. Uh, what else? Not much else. I'm just trying to eat. I'm not going to go eat any ramen or anything like that. So, uh, such a cool spot. I keep getting these nibbles and then it lets go. Shit. Got a bite now. Oh, let go. Shit. Finally, I think that's it. I think we got one. Yep, we got one. Nope. No, that's shit. All right, well, I finally got four fish. And it's taken me almost till dinner time. And right now, oh, the bees are just out in forest. You can hear them humming around me and stuff. Um, ow. And they will sting every now and then, which kind of sucks, but hold on. Um, they're, they're not as bad as normal bees. So anyways, uh, right here we got the Ember Lit stove going. Sorry, I kept messing with the camera. And we're going to do the first experiment with the flint and steel. See if I can get that going. Um, let's see. God damn, the bees are... Oh. Hmm. Flint and steel definitely didn't work. I gotta say, I am getting kind of sick of the bees. There's just bees all over the place. All right, we got four fish frying, one pretty good sized one and three okay ones. This guy's going along real well, but I'm realizing you really got to maintain it as you're cooking. It goes real fast. So you just kind of sit here and just keep stuffing in the logs, extra fuel. really like this stove technically this is free fuel right now so yeah it's a little bit more work but it's worth it they're not really the, the cleanest fish to, to cook it seems to yeah there we go I don't know it's got its own unique way of cooking it seems Sure is a lot of wind though, so I'm letting all the animals know I've got some delicious fish here.
That's the part I forgot to latch. Pretty good stove. Really efficient. The amount of wood that it would I used last night to do the same thing was pretty crazy compared to this little guy. And you can use it as a camp stove. I've seen some dude pack it full of sticks this high and they just torched it. This whole thing turned like purple, but because it's titanium, it'll it'll just get kind of a distorted color and then it'll go back to normal. Well, cool. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Look at that sunset. Almost sunset. Really killer. The bees scared me off. I, I couldn't... I couldn't stand the bees anymore. They were just bees everywhere. Every time I started to gut the fish, the bees would start coming out, and it, it was just too much. Um, they do actually start uh, stinging you after a while. I've only gotten stung twice, but it's not fun. It's not as bad as a honeybee sting, and in nowhere, and not a, a bumblebee. So right now, just doing the ramen thing. And, uh... Well, they're coming back a little fuckers. Well, this wraps up, uh, almost wraps up another day. Ramen became one of my favorite meals. I'll never do the tortilla and cheese thing again after the, the no, the first day. They just didn't taste good, and it just wasn't good. I don't want to eat tortillas and cheese sticks. It just wasn't good. I really do like the more simpler stuff. The cereal was really hit or miss for me because, I don't know, it's granola. I, for some reason, I just chew granola for a very long time before I swallow it, so it just takes me forever to finish it. I'll probably still keep them in there, though, because they're cheap, inexpensive, and if you're really starving, it, it, it helps. My appetite really started picking up today. I, I had none yesterday, though. So, um, did a little bit more exploring around the area here, and there's just bear shit everywhere here. Everywhere. This is the land of plenty for sure. What else? I can't really think of much else. Um, I got my solar charger out. Fortunately, that solar charger didn't charge up my device past two bars out of four. And it was on one. So, did it help? Yeah, sure, totally. Um, didn't, didn't do as much as I'd wanted it to do, though. But everything's got a full charge. Um, tonight... I'll probably use, like I did last night, my little lantern, and, uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Just kind of kicking back. Uh, here, why don't we enjoy a shot together? It's well-deserved. I was just dressing my foot with ointment and all that stuff, so just in case a bad situation becomes worse, I don't get an infected foot out here, that'd be terrible. And next time, I'm going to get two of these. I have been savoring it. See, it's only half, half gone. But I would have liked to have a little bit more than I am. It really helps for the bed, especially when you're sleeping on nothing.